Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Air Princess. First off, Happy New Year, y'all. This is my first video for 2023. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Alright. Um, so I'm going to be um Spirit wants me to focus on more so the collective um than the detailed uh uh, signs like the cardinal and you know, all that shit. fixed signs and things of that nature mutable signs so are we doing more of um collective readings until spirit tells me to do something else all right so let's get into it um to be honest with you i actually tossed and turned last night because i mean the messages that were coming to me i'm like y'all <laughs> i mean it was waking me up at midnight like get up i'm like bruh so you might be trying to get yourself together. You may be trying to uh, get on the good foot here. We have clouds and we have sight. Okay. It's time to get up. It's time to move. It's time to get up. I feel like I, I feel like you feel like you don't have all of the tools, the anything. You, you don't have you feel like you don't have everything um to move forward in the site that's here. Scythe represents um that long that's the Grim Reaper stick. But in this instance here, it's like you're not chopping down the overgrown uh, vegetation, we'll say that, um, so you can see you'll be so you can see what's in front of you. You need this clarity so you can see what's in front of you. So snake, yeah, you're not able to see the snakes because you haven't um, you haven't you haven't uh, mowed the grass basically, in so many words. You have to um, cut the grass low so you can see the snakes, so you can do what you need to do. Move forward. Okay? Tell me more about cutting the grass low. Tell me more about cutting the grass low. Yeah, invitation. Spirit is, is urging you or is advising you to start to chip away and break free of this... Um, like this mental cloudiness, like you, you can't, it's like you can't see or maybe you're not willing to see what's in front of you. <sighs> um, cultivate here could be dealing with a Taurus number two Taurus represents possessions uh, it's the second house uh, money possession food We have passion, journey, and relationship. So passion and journey is in reverse, and then we have relationship upright. Okay, so this is about a relationship here, passion and journey. So I feel like you feel you don't have passion for a connection, a relationship anymore, and you're wanting to move forward, but I feel like you may be stopping yourself from moving forward. Maybe you think there's something, you know, that you left behind, something that, you know, you haven't received yet. You received everything that you need to receive, boo. Don't hold on to this shit. Let it go. Push forward. Push forward. Cut this. You have to cut the grass. You have to. You have to cut the grass so you can see what's in front of you. You're not able to see what's in front of you. It's like you're blinded. I'm hearing blinded to the truth as well too. Okay, somebody could be in collaboration with this as well too. Yeah, we have collaboration. We have entrance. So, um, somebody could be doing something against you. Um, in collaboration with someone. 
should stop you from moving forward here because we do have interest and interest is in reverse. So somebody doesn't want you to see um, they don't want you to chop down the, the, the tall grass or the tall trees that's hidden or that's in front of you. Because the moment that you do that, the moment that you start to cultivate, meaning you take in the scythe and you start whacking away at the stuff, those same, let's just say greens, right? Those same trees um, that you finally decide to chop down, you're going to be able to use those same trees or bark or wood and make something new out of it of course transmutation so basically once you're able to receive whatever it is that you need to receive or you're accepting it for what it is right once you cut the grass you can see it for what it is you'll be able to move forward not only move forward but then you'll also be able to what you have cut down so you can see what was blinded in front of your face, you can take that and you can transmute that into something great or greater, okay? <sighs> Tell me more about the sight. Siphon. Let's say snakes in the grass. Tell me more about snakes in the grass. Okay, they said no. Don't talk about that. All right, tell me more about the siphon. Mm -hmm. When you cut the grass, love, you'll be in the nine of cups. When you decide to cut the grass, you'll be able to move forward. King of Pentacles. It's up to you. Page. A pentacles, new opportunities galore, boom, and it's protected. Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. So we have the King of Pentacles, Page, and Knight of Pentacles. That's the only way you have to cut the grass so you can see. You have to cut the grass. There's a lot of dishonesty around you, but that dishonesty is going to place you here with the Four of Wands. with ample opportunities, but you have to cut the grass. Yep, the tower, as soon as you sacrifice or more so you cut the grass, cause you cutting the grass is a form of, of um, oh, I don't wanna use the word sacrifice in that way, but basically I wanna say is like you're giving up something that's not helping you, it's not uh, assisting you in your evolution. It's it's not ascending you in your ascension. It's not doing anything to make you a greater person or a better person. Um, so with this tower here and this hangman here, this is 28, 28, 8, 9, 10. So this is a, a, a really strong, powerful um, portal here. Um, mm-hmm. You have you you have the ammunition, you have the power, you have everything you need to make this happen. You hold the keys to make this happen. Mm -hmm. Yep, magician. You hold the keys. But you have to cut the grass, ten of wands. And even with the wands as well, too. You don't have to be burdened. You may feel burdened, may feel overburdened may feel overworked right but look at it from a different a different perspective right how can we change this negative situation to something positive or the outcome to a very positive situation in your favor even though you may feel like you have a lot of work a lot of uh tasks a lot of things to do you can still use this me if this was me all this burden, overburden things that um, either you placed on yourself or other people try to place on you, I would take these same damn sticks and I would make fire with it, boo. I'm going to turn this into something great. I'm going to transmute this. Okay, you going to get this to me? All right, thank you. Okay, look at it from a different perspective. Not everything has to be negative all the time, right? We can turn a negative thing, negative 
experiences into positive experiences. And with this Ten of Wands here, this is definitely what's going to happen. If you allow it to happen with the Temperance, you're going to be very balanced. You may have people coming towards you to work with you. The Death card is here. So yeah, we have the Hangman, the Tower, and the Death card here. And then we have um, um, the Three of Pentacles as well too. Working with other people at this moment, um, I wouldn't advise that because I feel like you are much stronger by yourself. You don't need other people uh, to like be a part of whatever it is that you got going on. Yes, you can do it for yourself. You don't need any other any, anyone else to be like, oh yeah, that's part of no. You can do it for yourself. You're gonna be very successful at it. Very, very successful at it. Okay. Yeah, because you are the star and it's gonna come in super quickly. But you gotta take you you gotta take off. You got to take off. You want to child? <laughs> Eight of Wands. The star. Six of Wands and three of Cups. That's nothing but excitement galore. Happiness. Oh my God. I did it. It worked. It this. It that. You know, that kind of way. Because even with the Wands, right? Where's the other Wands? It was a... Uh, Ten wands. Where was that at? It was somewhere. Here it is. So you took the ten of wands. See all these. You see all these sticks here that you can make for potential fire. You took all these wands here. You turned into something great. Eight of wands to the six of wands. So you start off here, being burdened, overworked. You know this ain't working. What was me? Yeah, yeah. You had an aha moment. Finally cut the grass with this scythe here. See? It's like you're using this to chop this down, right? Finally, because you did that, things are going to come in very quickly. Eight of wands with the six of wands. It's going to help you to propel and move forward, okay? I like this reading. <laughs> devotion you got to be devoted to you what do you want what do you want out of life what do you want to do yep surrender it if you have no control over it surrender and release it you have no control over it why are you worrying about it why are you harping over it you know let it go release it so you can be in your authentic, in your, you can stand in your authenticity. So you can call judgment on yourself, face judgment on yourself in a positive way. But it will help you to step into your authenticity or be being your authentic self or the authentic, the authentic part of yourself will start to shine much more. And like I said, you have to uh, cut the grass so you can see treasure because you are the treasure. feel like you don't trust yourself and you're missing out on a lot of opportunities and fun times because you don't trust yourself you are the gift you are a gift you are the gift you are a treasure and the gift yes you are you are but when are you going to realize that about yourself when are you going to realize that you are indeed this this treasure and this gift the gift is wrapped in the treasure Or the treasures wrapped in the gifts, however way you want to take it. But that's you, boo. Maybe going on a diet, sanctuary, or maybe should go on a diet. Maybe your eating habits are not good. You may be eating a lot of high caloric foods as well, too. Okay? So be mindful of that, especially fried foods. Be very mindful of that.
and that's right out. Yeah, no guilt. Yeah. There's nothing to be guilty about. You got to do what you got to do. You got to do what's best for you. You have to cut the grass. You have to cut the grass so you can see what's in front of you. There are a lot of things that's in front of you that you can't see right now because your grass is way too high, boo. And in order for you to see what's playing out in front of your face, you have to cut the grass. You have to cut it. Okay? I got Cancer. Gemini. We have Aries. All right, one more. Uh, Capricorn. Okay? If that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, and that notification bell. Until next time, this is a collective read. Peace.